Woman eats 10,000 ice cream bars per year. That's right, it's time for more Freaky Eaters. The TLC show with probably the two most unlikable hosts of any show ever created, ever. They're just so, I don't know, like, they, they just seem so rude. I'm Simon Toskin, that's Buff Pro. <laughs> and yes, please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Check out Dane and Buff Pro on YouTube. Check out the Toasty Games channel if you want some gameplay. And you know, I don't blame her. Ice cream bars are freaking delicious. Ice cream sandwiches, though. Ooh, mm. man. Mm. That number would double if it was ice cream know. sandwiches. You know what I, I mean? I remember being a kid and eating ice cream sandwiches, and, I, and when I'd grab it and start eating it, I would always, like, leave my fingers. The chocolate, like, uh, sandwich part would stick to my fingers. Oh, yeah. It's like a, it's like a little extra, like, ooh, mm, get the fingers at the end. Yeah. <laughs> I always I left know, a little bit of wrapper good. right there, you know what I'm saying, to hold it with the two fingers. Oh, no. Rappers. <laughs> Look, man, I, I ate stuff so fast, I had to take wrappers off. I ended up eating the wrapper, too. 50-year-old <laughs> Kimberly eats almost nothing but ice cream bars. Mm. I get obsessed over the ice cream bars. They caress She looked a little obsessed there. I get obsessed. It's like, okay, okay, all right, all right, cool. Get your ice cream, then, lady. It's all right. <laughs> she looks a little old for 15. <laughs> 15. <laughs> oh, God, that is the... Oldest looking 15 year old I've ever seen, man. That's what the ice cream does to you, Dave. <laughs> they press my throat all the way down to my stomach. It's almost like having a lover. Oh, God. Oh, girl. Oh, oh. Having a lover, you know, she needs someone to caress her throat all the way down. Jeez. All right. <laughs> Straight all out right. the freezer, too. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I want that. That's. <laughs> That, that nice and cold feel, yeah. Jeez, all right. I got pretty heavy out of nowhere, honestly. I'm not expecting that. Kimberly eats as many as 40 ice cream bars every single day. From every morning day. until late into the night. 40 a, 40 a day? No way. This is a Klondike Slim Bar. Oh. You get the Slim Brown Bear Premium Fudge. Then you get 140, 124. So, uh, on the small bar... She's getting almost 5,000 calories a day. Nice. And then, you know, pretty much double that on the other bar. Almost 10,000 calories from ice cream bar. 40 a day? No way. All right. All right, Mr. Narrator. Sure. Make up some more numbers. That's fine. <laughs> no grocery store keeps that many in stock. And that's on the, the small. It's double that if you, you know, depending on what kind she's eating. She's doing pretty good for her diet. I think. Yeah. She's supposed to be very active. <laughs> I'm psyched so up and eat ice cream bars in the middle of the night every couple of hours. 12 a.m. Ain't no way the camera crew's out here at 12 a.m. filming her sitting on this stool eating ice cream bars in full makeup. <laughs> Kimberly consumes hundreds of ice cream bars each month, up to a stack of 10,000 per year. The Roland Family Farm Ice Cream. Okay, now we got it. Okay. Roland Family Farm Ice Cream. Like, it, it looks like something you see before you die They're like this looks like scary kind of <laughs> you know <laughs> this is kind of scary you guys a five nights at freddy's reject oh wait is this talking about the show right here sorry to disappoint i'm disappointed too but i think they cover the actual brand oh it's it, people can't find it they're looking for it they're like where is it it's not real like look at this they even got okay look this one is on sale this one is 379 this one is four fifty nine. They just went in the store and pulled out. Like you can even see the stuff behind it. Wow. Like they just, they just put one box in front. Drew has asked Freaky Eater specialist Dr. Mike Dow and JJ Virgil. Oh, here they come. They found her. They found her in the grocery store. They're coming around the corner. Yeah. No, my camera's so blown out now. I'm Dr. Mike Dow. I'm a disordered eating and addiction expert. <laughs> like she looks nice confused. Like, hey, hey, hello. Uh, uh, can I help you? I had no idea you'd be here with a camera right here beside me. It felt like I was caught with my hand in the cookie jar. Yeah, Do you know why? Jesus Christ, come on, man. Can you can you be a little less obviously fake? Please. Uh, <laughs> please. Look, this is where the other box was. They blurred all that out. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Kimberly eats the amount of ice cream bars in a day that the average person would eat in an entire year. Oh, heck. Oh, get, oh, oh come on now. <laughs> like, I don't feel like her standard of normal is accurate. <laughs> no, at all. <laughs> the average person will only eat four, maybe five boxes of ice cream a year. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay. <laughs> We 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 have some ice cream sometimes, and we go through like one of these boxes in like, you know, a week, and I don't even eat any of them, you know. Right? <laughs> they're, they're, they're not my ice cream, buckets, you know. Yeah, for real. What's going on in your life that you need these so much? 
Oops, you start crying the loose. freaking Kroger here. <laughs> nice. Let's great dive place deeper. for therapy. Yeah, what's going on in your life? On the frozen aisle. Uh, well, let me tell you, my uh, th it's making me eat the ice cream. My husband, my husband in my life. And ah. <laughs> just, no, no. Okay. I just kind of like went into this tailspin. She's like over there trying to like not crack up or something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> are you living right now? Or are you existing? I'm existing mm -hmm. barely. Do you want to change? Yeah. What are you willing to do? Like, whoa, guys, you just randomly walked up to me in the store. I don't know. I don't know. I'm about to be like, well, you guys are in luck. I can, uh, these things just, just, just massage the deep ends of my throat here. You know what I mean? Like, I'm uh, ready for a good day. These two strangers out of nowhere came up to me. <laughs> what are you willing to do? It's like, I'm not going back to your hotel, guys. All right. I'm just <laughs> At this point, I'm willing to do anything. No, no. Okay, well, let's go. Come okay. with us. Yep, come with us. <laughs> leave your ice cream here. Don't worry. It'll melt. You put it. If it was real ice cream, can you believe that she would just leave it out like that? No way. No. If she was addicted to eating ice cream, she said, well, hang on a second. Let me put these back. I got to get them later. As you can see, there's none of these <laughs> anywhere else. They don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for some shock therapy. <laughs> Here comes their patented shock therapy that always works. They do it every episode. It's cringe. We're going pull them in the parking lot back here. Got his ice cream truck coming out. There's kids running up right now. Ice cream! And like the producer's like, get out of here. I wanted to show Kimberly what she is doing to her life. We brought a block of ice, and it's not just a regular block of ice. There's something here. Oh, they got something inside of it. I was like, it's snowing outside. Why'd they have to go get her a block of ice? Oh. <laughs> There she is. <laughs> <laughs> we froze your family in a block of ice. <laughs> you see this picture? This is when you were happy. But now it's inside of ice. <laughs> I hope you made copies of this picture because it's obviously like bent and deformed now. But still, thank you for letting us borrow it for the shot. Looking up at me was my favorite picture of myself with my children the happy, vibrant person that I used to be. Yeah, how'd they get this? That would be the question I'd be asking. Like, how'd you guys get this? <laughs> you guys break into my house and steal my... <laughs> I just met you in the shopping market, and here you are with a picture of my favorite picture. Like, <sighs> this show is so amazingly fake that... Oh, God. You know, you know, it like hurts to watch this one. Yeah, like, a lot of a lot of shows they like exploit people's problems for like views and stuff. Like you know you got like Doctor Phil and all that stuff that they go and like drag all, everybody's dirty laundry out and then help them in the end. This show just like makes up stuff. <laughs> like it just makes up crap. They don't they have no idea what's going on. No, get her out of there. Let her rip. Yeah, yeah, break it. <laughs> hey. Oh, you broke it. That ice is symbolic of this journey. So, yeah, she's had her big breakthrough moment now because she broke some ice and got a picture out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised she didn't have to throw the whole ice cream truck of ice cream away. Yeah, I know, right? Isn't that the usual truck? move? Like, oh, you see all this? You can have it. JK, <laughs> throw it away. They brought out the whole ice cream truck to give her a block of ice with her family picture in it, and she broke it. And now they're leaving? Okay. Leave it. <laughs> We've taken your ice cream bar sticks and laid them one after the next after the next, and we are going to walk that trail. Okay. Oh, here we go. Ice cream bars in a year. Oh, my gosh. We're walking. So you know, they got the whole statistic of, like, if you, what is it, you take all the blood veins out of your body or something like that and stretch them out in, in like, in order, it would wrap around the world or something like that. Really? Let's see. This vast blood... Uh, this blast system of blood vessels, arteries, veins, and capillaries is over 60,000 miles long. It's long enough to wrap around the world more, more than twice. Wow. Two times. That's all compacted into your body, right? Right. Apparently, if you took everything out and put it in, in order or in line. It's like, what was the other thing? If you fold a piece of paper 27 times or something like that, it can reach the moon. Uh, 42 times. 42 times. What? To reach the moon. Yeah, if you if you could fold a piece of paper forty two times, it would reach the moon. And those like, amazing so I, stats. Yeah, the, the, so that's what I'm trying to get at. They got these amazing stats that you hear and go, "Wow!" But anyway, they put all the bars. They put all the bars down here to show them how how far back to back, you know, ten thousand sticks is in a year. I hate to be the person who had to do this. Keep everybody right. away from it. Don't I touch these? Amazing. The end of the trail. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety six ice cream bar sticks. They couldn't have spotted her four more. I'm so mad right now. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> shorter, man. What's up with that? Make 
makes me feel physically ill. Physically ill? Are you sure it's not the ice cream? <laughs> Rolling family. Oh, God. Well, they got that one. That's all Jeez. looking even scarier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That must, someone must have ordered the pink sauce in that one, you know, the same shipping. <laughs> 250 boxes, six ice cream bars in a box. That's two months worth of your ice cream. Months. That's two months worth right there? Two months. Okay. I guess, you know, they were like, huh. man, that's a lot of boxes. We only have so many. That I couldn't justify ice cream bars anymore. We have Why? one more surprise for you. Can you really? <laughs> Why? Oh! <laughs> what, who's this? Her husband's the back. reveal! The re <laughs> her husband! You ate him to death! My son Drew. Oh, my came son! Out from behind these ice cream boxes. I've never I've, I haven't seen him in years, and there he is behind the ice cream boxes <laughs> the whole time. He's in my freezer. Even though I left home, I still haven't left you, and I really care about you and hope you get better. Thank you. I love you. I love you too, Mom. Yeah, we got your son to come back from college to visit you? Yeah. Back After the, the shock therapy, Kimberly is very ready for the next step. I really want Kimberly to know that she deserves to be happy. After he said like that, I don't know if she... <laughs> it sounded like you're about to kill her or something. She deserves to be happy. I wanted to remind you of what your life used to look like. Happy. You're about to make her more depressed, dude. What are you doing in your life? <laughs> You're about to make her more. Here's you 20 years ago. How does that make you feel? <laughs> oh, I need ice cream. Oh, man, old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of feelings that I had forgotten felt like welcoming back an old. Like, seriously, what is her actual problem, though? Maybe they maybe they go over that in the full like because this is only like a condensed version of it. Like, what is her actual right. issue that's making her do this? Like, she just feels bad. She's having her midlife crisis. Is that what's happening? It's about substituting something good and nurturing from something that really is not nurturing me. That's exactly right. Oh wow, she already knew. You know, what yeah. are you doing here, guy? She she's got this, she's got that down. She even needs you. And how do we do that? Make our son quit college. Yeah, yeah, he got to come home. It's gonna be like that. <laughs> uh, what was it? The six hundred pound life where the where the guy had to drop out of college to go take care of his mom. Yeah, yeah. The son's gonna be eating ice cream next. The more we can fill Kimberly's life with the things that are gonna give her a sense of purpose, passion, pleasure, the less ice cream bars she will eat. Bro, I don't know. Like the way she was talking about that ice cream earlier, you better stop talking about pleasure. All right? <laughs> she's she gonna get a hold of you. Kimberly's new stomach is thirty milliliters. That's small. Yet she continuously pushes too much food into it. Oh, she's got the knife out. She's about to show her. It was basically the lid and the neck of a bottle. What happens then when you take two ice cream bars? <laughs> Here they go. <laughs> you don't have to make a mess on the on the countertop. Come on. When you've had gastric bypass what, surgery, you overeat. Doing? Yep. Keep on pouring it. Now, what did you tell me? You did on a bad day. Now, what did you tell me? Oh my gosh! <laughs> and now I'm about to pour this out. Look at look at that look she even gives. She's like, yeah, I'm about to do it. I'm about to pour it all over the place. Like, oh, look at her. She's doing Why? It. <laughs> it was what are you it's doing? Like, I, it's like I get it. Okay, it doesn't fit. You know, if my life oh, running oh, away, really? out of control, spilling over the edges. <laughs> Wow. Who could clean that up? I bet. That, I bet she couldn't take it no more. Like, why would you do that? I was sitting right here. Yeah, start fighting people. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way the three of them just irresponsibly walk away from the cart. She loaded with ice cream. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Also, me immediately googles Ronald Family Ice Cream to see where I can find them. Oh, uh, they made it up though. Oh, uh, but man, yeah, my lactose intolerance is kicking up in that video. That's us. We got to be done with that one. Whew. God dang. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell us what you think. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Tell us my friends. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>